I'm teaching electronics, but uh, also web programming languages like HTML, JavaScript, and PHP. Um, I've been doing um, distance learning for more than 15 years. I'm involved in UFES project and teaching web programming languages for L1 and L2 students. And uh, we are working mainly what we call front-end development. So we are working with L1 HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And next year with the L2 we are working what we call back-end development. So using PHP languages and MySQL uh, database. Uh, I think with this new communication media, it's very important for the student to be able to create a website because by this way they will be able to promote their company, for instance, and to diffuse some uh, scientific culture and to make themselves known on the internet. For more than 10 years, I've been improving my teaching techniques. Of course, at the beginning, I was using the blackboard or the whiteboard. But now I'm using a PC tablet and with a pen, so I can write my course in front of the students. And um, I'm using some digital note-making application. And um, I can write in front of my students, I can write some equations, I can do some figures, annotate them, I can use different colors to highlight some very important point. I can add some screenshots of what we can see on internet. And by this way, I just write my course and students have time to write down also the course. And of course, at the same time, I, I explain exactly what I'm doing. And um, working like this, my course note, uh, I can do some copy, I can print it for my uh, student. And this course note will complete their own course note. Um, further, I'm doing some screen capture and audio recording. And by this way, I can create a video course and this video course can then be replayed on a podcast. I think students are very impressed with such new teaching techniques and they are more involved, involved and concentrated during the course and don't forget that the students belong to what we call the digital learning generation. During my first classes, I was very impressed by their sympathy and their respect for the teacher. They are very involved in the training, their training, and ask many questions and show a lot of interest. For me, it was a very nice experience to teach here at UFAS. With my course, I'm not sure students could be um, eligible uh, as a, for a position as a web designer. But I'm sure they will be able to create some website to communicate for the company um, and in a very competitive global market. I wish UFRAS the highest success and the student really deserve it. We, as a teacher, we are doing our best, but we cannot do everything. I think students uh, must be aware, with a strong motivation and commitment, that the future is in their hands and they must take charge of their education.